So why are you on virtual media? What are you seeking on virtual media? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All channel names are pinned to the top of the comments section or description box below, all five channels. So, you know, we all have a purpose when we get on virtual media. Some people are just researching. They're looking for information. Um, other people are looking to connect with other people. They're looking to socialize. Um, some people are looking to play video games. Other people are looking to um, be content providers like on a YouTube channel. Um, so there's a lot of different reasons why people are on social media. Are you use social media, the internet, the virtual world? So what is your purpose? How much time do you want to give it? Um, I see a lot of people giving what I consider to be an excessive amount of time to the virtual world, whether it's video games, social media, um, just surfing the net all the time, even at work when they should be doing their job. Um, maybe when they're with their family members in person, they're busy staring at their phone or playing video games. Um, lack of interaction, um, like old-fashioned board games that we used to do, people don't do that much anymore. It seems like people are one-on-one -on -one with a video game rather than as a group setting playing a board game or something like that. So what's your purpose and how much time do you want to give to virtu the virtual world versus your in-person world? Is it complementing your in-person world or is it taking away from your in-person world? I think that those are important issues to take a look at because in my mind, we want to use the virtual world to to complement our lives, not to distract from our lives. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.